Hey guys! Yes, it's still me, but I've got really short hair. I went for the chop. What is, what is that bit there? It's like I've stuck my head out of a car window going in that direction and my hair is just going that way. But it now means I don't have to blow dry my hair anymore. I now just wash my hair in Castile soap, which is amazing stuff and leaves a slightly waxy texture, which means I don't have to put any styling products in. So a big hello to all my new subscribers. Welcome to EcoBoost. I love you. So the thing I seem to be asked about the most at the moment is, can I do another Kermit impression? I hope Kermit be frog here. There you go. Now the second most popular thing that I get asked is about makeup at the moment. So I thought I'd share with you guys the makeup that I use. There are seemingly loads of cosmetics out there that are eco-friendly and apparently non-toxic. But be warned, because you will still find ingredients like titanium dioxide in natural beauty products, which is something I personally try to avoid. I've read some stuff about it that isn't great, but you'll still find it in a lot of non-toxic beauty products, so I really have to watch out for that one. First up, foundation. And I found this brand, My Essence. They're an Australian brand, and they use organic ingredients. There's no titanium dioxide in this little munchkin, and their packaging is actually really good. Yes, it's plastic, and they used to use glass, but they found that the glass was too heavy and that it would sometimes break during the shipping process. So they switched to a lightweight plastic that doesn't leach. It's completely recyclable, and I think the packaging also has some special technology in it, which means you get every little bit of the product out, so there's no wastage as well. So the texture of this is... <laughs> this isn't awkward at all. So <laughs> the texture of this... How do people do makeup videos and not look awkward? How am I making this look weird? Oh, uh, I think that's the only option I've got right now, so... <laughs> We're gonna roll with this and I can put hashtag most awkward makeup video ever. So the texture of this is really nice. It's really lightweight, it rubs in really easily. There you go. And it smells really nice. They don't use any synthetic fragrance, it's all essential oils and it just smells really fresh and natural. I used the vanilla one before I was using porcelain, which was great for the winter months when I was a little bit paler. But now that the summer's come and hopefully I'm getting a little more of a glow, um, I switched to vanilla, which is much more my skin tone. Sticking with the same brand, My Essence also do a really awesome concealer. Again, using natural and organic ingredients, no titanium dioxide and it's a slightly thicker consistency than the foundation. There it is, probably can't see that. It sits really nicely over any spots that you might have. Face powder. Another awesome product from My Essence is their Mineral Foundation Powder, which is great if you want to mattify your face a little bit. From day to day, I might just use a little bit and put it over the top of any spots where I've put some concealer just to mattify it a bit. It's got a sort of shaker thing to it, so you just shake through a little bit and then dab your brush in and put it on your face. And when it starts to get towards the dregs at the end, this is the old container, you can pull out that bit, just put your brush straight in and use up all the little bits that are left at the bottom so there's no wastage. I don't know about you guys, but when I used to wear regular makeup, I would have so many eyeshadows. So when I pared down my makeup bag and tried to detoxify it, I thought I'm just gonna get two because I mostly wear like a brown and a kind of gray black. You can't tell because it's scratched off the front, but these eyeshadows are by 100% pure. I chose these guys because the ingredients are really good and they actually use fruit and vegetable pigments to get the colouring, so nothing synthetic in there, it's all natural. And their packaging is also really good. I tweeted them recently to ask them about it and they said all of their vessels are fully recyclable, so that is a bonus. And it comes up really well. It's a really decent deep colour. Eyeliner. This one is again from 100% Pure. It glides on and it blends really nicely as well. So, I don't know if you can see it, but that was hardly any effort and it comes up really well. I wonder if I could draw a picture. Um, this isn't gonna be what you think it is. It's a worm. Just smudges really nicely. Mascara. This is the best mascara I have found like ever. 
including regular mascaras. It goes on really easily and it stays on. It doesn't smudge. I've actually got tiny lashes and this gives me lashes. Lips. I generally don't wear much on my lips. It's usually just a little bit of balm or something, which I'll show you in a minute. I like to just dab a little bit and then smudge it in quite a lot and then put a little bit of lip balm over the top. It comes in this little cardboard pouch, which makes this noise. Oh, I love it. <laughs> no synthetic chemicals, no synthetic dyes, no chemical preservatives or any other toxins. And it is actually a really nice product. This is the lip balm I like to put over the top. It's by Bamford, it's their botanic lip balm and it's 100% certified organic. It smells slightly geranium-y and eucalyptus-y. It's really nice. That's what it looks like on the inside. Who needs lip gloss, which is packed with so much synthetic shizzle when you can use something that's 100% organic, still get a bit of a gloss, and is really moisturizing for your lips too. Mm, so kissable. So what do you do when you want to take all the makeup off? Coconut oil. Changed my life, man. Changed my life. Rub it over your face, it melts in really easily. You can even rub it over your eyes and it doesn't sting. And then get a, a warm, wet cloth or flannel and then wipe that over your face and the makeup will just glide off. I love it. So there you go. Those are my favorite makeup products. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more and check out some of my other awesome, they're really awesome videos as well. See ya.